guys, some seriously exciting news. We are on our way to get potentially a fucking insanely built EJ25 or 257. Um, we basically got our bag of cash. Anyway, it's a full to shell built Cosworth EJ257, so I'm told it's brand new, hasn't been run. Um, and yeah, we're on our way to pick it up. Hopefully it's legit and it comes with all the receipts and everything to prove that it is that. And next you'll see, hopefully it'll be sitting in the back of the Pajero here and we'll take it back home and do a proper look around in the daytime. Holy fuck, I bought it. <laughs> What'd you get? Check out the back. I can't see shit, but there's there. So, yeah, I've just been to see a meet. Fucking absolute top bloke. Um, everything you said, it's a full Cosworth built motor. Um, I'm not, I won't go into it too much detail now because I actually can't remember off the top of my head. But basically, it's pretty freaking pink. And I got it for a good price from him in, it's never been driven on, it hasn't even been in the car yet. Um, yeah, top bloke, pleasure to do business with, so I just can't wait to get it home. In the daylight, we'll do some shots and go over everything, check it all out. But, yeah, the FOS build is finally kicking off after years of sitting around dormant with a float. What the fuck are you doing? Hey! <sighs> Mate, drivers, seriously. All right, so next day, and we've got a special present for the carrot. So we've got Luke behind the camera again. So shall I open it up and show you guys what's in here or keep the suspense going? Open it? Yeah, I think you should open it. All right. Bad boy. Brand spanker. So we'll quickly chuck this on an engine stand and we'll give a proper going over of everything that's in it. It's a pretty long and thorough spec sheet, so yeah, this thing will make some serious jam. <laughs> Um, I'll give you guys a quick rundown from what I can remember off the top of my head. Uh, you know, be easy on me, I've only had this motor for not even 24 hours yet. But I do know most of the specs close enough. I'll put like a proper spec sheet on the screen somewhere now or throughout the video or whatever. But um, basically we'll start at the top. So yeah, this is an EJ257 um, without the intake manifold on it obviously and the crank pulley and all the rest of the ancillary components. But basically we've got a full CNC closed deck block. Um, this is all done by the shell. Uh, we've got Cosworth um, yeah, 8 to 1 compression uh, forged pistons, forged rods. Um, we've got a 2.5 litre nitrated crank. Um, what else? We've got basically all ARP Cosworth case bolts, main, main bolts, everything like that. Uh, we've, the heads have been drilled and tapped for the Shell's 14mm head stud kit. Um, also Cosworth head gaskets, um, which have also been modified or potentially already came with the 14mm. So then we move out to the heads. Um, these are the only thing that weren't done by the Shell. These were done by... I cannot remember, I'll put it on the screen but a company out of America. These are basically a really, really high flying head. Basically this motor is built for, in its current state it can handle 450 kilowatt at the wheels if you go crazy. 
Um, another cool thing he chucked in, which I don't think many people have, is like a press-in uh, stainless steel AN bung for the block breather. So that needs to be pressed in and locked-tighted. Also, he's got, he kindly included some other ones that he had for the valve covers as well. So I'll probably end up sorting them out. Yeah, obviously Gates Racing timing belt and water pump, etc. 12 mil oil pump. We've got Brian Crower adjustable uh, cam gears on both sides, intake and exhaust. So yeah, attached to the Brian Crower adjustable cam gears, we've got some full custom made um, high lift cams. So off the top of my head, I think they're a 264 uh, by 390 or something. So I'm hoping they're pretty chunky and lumpy. Got the Tomei uh, little guide, I guess. Um, and another cool thing he's done, which is pretty nifty, is he's put a, as you can see here, he's put a bolt in to basically fail safe this hydraulic uh, timing belt tensioner. So if that fails, it's not gonna flap around and potentially skip timing. So that's a pretty cool mod. All right, so on the underside of the motor, normally the oil pan will go here. Um, basically we've got a TIGWORKS uh, full stainless uh, super strong oil pickup kit. I've still got to get a Killer B windage tray to put in here before I put the sump all back together. Um, as you can probably notice, uh, those gurus out there, you've probably noticed that the factory oil cooler set up with the coolant flowing through it uh, that normally goes around here and kind of spaces this down a bit has been deleted. Um, so I'm going to run a an actual proper oil cooler that gets air from the front of the car, like most oil coolers. It's also got this uh, blocking bung, which is one of the coolant lines to the factory oil cooler, which is now gone. So that's pretty nifty. Um, and yeah, also that needs to be blocked off from the thermostat housing now because I'm not running that. Um, yeah, that's about all I can think of off the top of my head. But yeah, the build is finally starting again. So stay tuned for everything going together over the coming months when I get some spare coin. Um, I've dug deep for this and I'm hoping it's as reliable as I expect. Um, and no, I won't be running 450 kilowatts straight out the, the gate, but uh, might get there one day.